Donald Trump Sweden comments, President met with ridicule and bewilderment as he cites non-existent terror attack Donald Trump seemed to invent a terror attack as he staged a campaign-style rally in which he railed against fake news. The U.S. president told thousands of supporters in Florida that migration flows were linked to terrorism. He mentioned incidents in Brussels, Nice and Paris before citing an attack in Sweden which he claimed happened on Friday. We've got to keep our country safe, he told the crowd in Melbourne. You look at what's happening in Germany, you look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden, who would believe this? Sweden, they took in large numbers. They're having problems like they never thought possible. You look at what's happening in Brussels. You look at what's happening all over the world. Take a look at Nice. Take a look at Paris. Crime rates have stayed relatively stable in Sweden during the past 10 years, according to the 2016 Swedish Crime Survey. Mr. Trump's comments sparked speculation that the U.S. president had become confused over an attack in Pakistan. On Friday, 80 people were killed when a suicide bomber blew himself up at the Sufi shrine in the city of Shetwan. Meanwhile, Social media was flooded by both ridicule and no little confusion at Mr. Trump's comments. An official at Sweden Twitter account, which is controlled by a different citizen each week and currently has a school librarian at the helm, boasted, might as well do a stand-along tweet about this. Since I'm being swamped with questions about Trump's speech. No, nothing has happened here in Sweden. There has not been any terrorist attacks here at all. The main news right now is about Melfest, it added, referring to an annual music festival. The Swedish news organization Aftonbladet posted a story on the incidents which really did occur in the country on Friday under the headline This happened in Sweden Friday night. Mr. President. The president's claims were also widely mocked on social media. Former footballer Gary Lineker tweeted, Thoughts are with everyone in Sweden at this difficult time. Comedian Rob Delaney added sarcastically, Please pray for my son Glavin who lost a buttock in yesterday's feminist terror attack in Sweden. Hashtag MAGA. Alongside a picture of Swedish pop group ABBA, one social media user posted, for extremists responsible for hashtag Sweden incident are still at large, if you see these people phone at real Donald Trump at once. Mr. Trump's comments come just weeks after his senior advisor Kellyanne Conway cited the Bowling Green massacre while defending the president's controversial travel ban. There was, in fact, no such massacre and Ms. Conway later admitted her error. Alluding to the previous error on Twitter, Hillary and Bill Clinton's daughter Chelsea posted, what happened in Sweden Friday night? Did they catch the Bowling Green massacre perpetrators? At the same rally on Saturday, Mr. Trump launched a fresh scathing attack on news organizations, accusing the dishonest media of publishing false stories, pledging he will never, ever let them get away with it.